Gallery. Um, we closed um, the old site of the museum just after Easter and we've managed to open a new museum um, just over a month and that has been because of the help of a huge group of volunteers but also some amazing staff um, of which I'm just going to quickly read out their names Melvin, Sylvia, David, Ken, Phil, Sharon, Mary, Derek, Colin, Green Space, Communications, Mick, Malcolm, Rosie, um, Sue McGubbin, Active Print, um, Premier Carpets, um, <laughs> Dave, <laughs> Dave Andrews, um, but we have to really thank um, just four people really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, um, we've had some really, really key volunteers. Everybody's key, but I'd like to just give this to Mike. To Bernard. the gentleman behind the original gallery who's been behind so many societies who is a fabulous bloke to work with yeah. is oh. Phil <laughs> lady um, who doesn't know what's in her job description but she she does so much more than that and that's Kathy. Okay and I'll just hand you over to Bill. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right, it was a very short story really. Um, I'm quite amazed that we're in this situation now. It wasn't planned, and uh, I, don't, I don't know that anyone really can explain it. However, we have turned Schmag, which was Surrey Heath um, Museum Action Group, into Surrey Heath Museum and Gallery. Amazing. I only noticed it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and the, the group that I would like to thank in particular are the people who uh, have been sitting at the desk yeah. in all these uh, nine years, looking after visitors, accepting and welcoming them, and uh, providing them with insights into what we've got here. 
Uh, that's, but that, I'm not going to read out names like uh, Jill did. We had about, originally, I think we've, we've had at least 65 individuals. We're a bit down now to about 50, but we're going to manage very well because the museum people are going to be with us. All on the ground floor. So in case anyone's worrying about whether they have to sit upstairs and get upstairs, you will just have to chase people upstairs. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm very pleased that I'll say hand over to Michael Gove. Well, I just want to say a, um, um, a few words of thanks as well. Um, I want to thank Glenn Fulton and the management team here at the Square for doing everything possible to make sure that we could have the museum safely move from its previous residence just over the road to this wonderful new location where more people will have a chance to enjoy the exhibits, to engage with the past and to learn more about our communities. I'd like to thank uh, the leadership of Surrey Heath Borough Council for helping to make sure that the investment and the support and the care would be there. And we have a, a wonderful cross-section um, of our councillors here. Paul Ilniski, I can see. Valerie White uh, from Bagshot, I can see. And I know that if, if anyone else... Ian Sams, I saw just over there. And Robin Perry. So we have a, a, a cross-section of civic leadership here, which reflects the commitment at every level locally to helping out. But great as it is to have the engine of commerce that is the square. Great as it is to have the local democratic institution that is our council behind us, the most important thing is you, the volunteers who've ensured through thick and thin that the Heritage Gallery can survive, that the museum can be supported, and the rich heritage which goes back to the archaeological foundations below Bagshot Heath, to the recent turbulent at times but also wonderful history of our communities can be marked here. And as you all know, um, I was here just over nine years ago when I was the uh, education spokesman for my party, and I made the point then that uh, we can only really know the direction in which we want to go in the future if we know where we've come from in the past. So history matters to all of us. It's not a dry and dusty academic subject. It's who we are. And one of the things about history is that we can all learn from it. We can learn from our achievements, and we can learn from our mistakes. And that's why, not thinking about mistakes, but thinking about learning, it's so lovely to have Bruce Nicole here. Because Bruce, of course, uh, reminds us that one of the things about this particular community is that we've learned so much about how to grow together and live together and work together. And one, I think, of the special lessons of Surrey Heath's history, the lesson of Camberley's development, of Frimley's past, of Bagshot's heritage, is that it's by working together that we can all achieve so much. And it's by working together that you've achieved the successful launch of the museum and gallery here today. And that means that Phil and I are now going to do something <laughs> dramatic. <laughs> Government cuts <laughs> are rarely popular. But on this occasion, Phil and I are going to cut the red tape to declare the gallery and museum officially open. Shall we do it together? There we are! Thank you. And you can all go back in now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.